Welcome friends, welcome back to the kitchen. Welcome back to Sunday morning in the old cookbook show. Today we're going to do another recipe out of the shower cookery book, uh, published in 1939 in Australia. Um, this is the eighth edition of this cookbook. Uh, a no nonsense cookbook, recipe after recipe after recipe after recipe, uh, really packed in. And this one caught my eye. It's under the miscellaneous pastry section. Uh, special savory pies, and the first one is called Canadian pie. Now, I'm Canadian. Um, I have never come across something called Canadian pie, which doesn't really mean anything at all. So I took a really good look at this pie um, and what was in it, and as I'm reading through it, I realized it's a sea pie. It's an English sea pie. And I couldn't understand why this book, you know, initially, it took me about five seconds to come to the next conclusion. Um, so I've got beef in this bowl. And to that, I'm going to add flour, because I'm supposed to toss it with flour. And salt and pepper. So there's the pepper. And, uh, you know, a little bit of salt. And we'll just toss that, start tossing that together. So just give this a toss and make sure that the beef is completely coated in the flour, salt, and pepper. And this is beef rib finger meat. Um, I bought it on sale quite a while ago. I used half of it in the recipe when I bought it. And then this part, I, uh, I portioned it out and froze it for a rainy day. Next time I wanted to do a stew. Seems like the appropriate meat to use in this recipe. Anyway, so I was trying to figure out what's the connection with an English sea pie to Canada? Like, why would it be Canadian? And then, you know, five seconds later, the light goes off my head. Of course, it's a sea pie, not a sea pie. It's a sea pie or a sea pat, um, which is a Quebecois interpretation of an English sea pie uh, with a little bit of a, of a Quebecois spin. And it's, it's written a couple of different ways. Um, this is La Cuisine Raisonnée. Um, so you take a look at it and it's, it's written as sea pat. Other recipes you look at, other recipe books, it's sea pie. And so that, that's how recipes <laughs> move around the world. Somewhere along the line, a Canadian, perhaps a Quebecois Canadian, ends up in Australia, is making this sea pie. What is it? Well, it's a Canadian, it's a Canadian pie. And it just gets written down and ends up in an Australian cookery book. I think that's fantastic. I think that is a perfect example of how recipes move around the world and change. When you look at these ingredients, I mean, it's pretty close to a sea pie. And there's layers. And in a very common interpretation in Quebecois cooking is that there should be six layers. C, six. There should be six layers. This one might come out to six layers. Who knows? Let's see what happens. So first layer is some of this beef. We'll get that in there. We'll get a nice even layer of cubes of beef. Next in, layer of onion. I am going to sprinkle some pepper on there. I'm not going to put any more salt in because the next layer is shredded bacon. So get that in. And another layer of, of beef. And so I think if I spread this out, we will have six layers. So we'll have a layer of beef, onions, bacon, beef, onions, bacon. It's a really simple dish. Um, and you know, it goes way, way back into history. And I can find this in English cookbooks, like, you know, right from the very beginning. Okay, last bit of beef. Onions. And bacon. Now, the next thing I'm supposed to do is cover it with water. I happen to have some beef stock. I know for a fact that this would be much better with stock than water. The stock is going to add quite a bit of flavor. And this could be chicken stock. This could be vegetable stock. Doesn't really matter which stock you use. If you've got it, go ahead and put it in. Chicken stock would be great. Um, 
if you don't have beef stock. I just happen to have some, so I'm going to use it. But, you know, if you want to follow the recipe to the exact letter, go ahead and use water. Now, it says to cook this in a pie dish or in a casserole. I decided to go with the stub because it's got a really good, heavy, tight-fitting lid. This is going to go into a moderately heated oven. Um, I've got mine at 250 at this point, which is actually a slow oven, but we'll be fine. 250, hour and a half to two hours, just to slowly cook that meat, onion, and bacon mixture. Okay, so it's bubbling away in the oven. I have taken the lid off because it wasn't really thickening up all that well, and it's been in there for a couple hours. So I'm gonna roll out the pastry for the top. Now, full disclosure, um, this pastry that I have here, I made a bunch of pies this week, uh, sweet pies and a couple of savory pies. And this is lard pastry dough. This is all the trimmings from those, uh, from those pastries. Um, every time I cut some off, added it to the ball, wrapped it up and left it in the fridge. So this may not roll out perfectly beautifully, um, but the dough is going to be fine. And waste not, want not. This is 1938 or 39 after all. And here's the thing, don't fear pie dough. Um, it's really not all that precious. It's pretty easy to work with. You can flip it over, you can move it about, make sure there's flour on your board so that it doesn't stick. That is about the only thing. And maybe a little bit of flour on top so that it doesn't stick, but it's pretty easy to work with. Okay. Um, That is the lid. Let's cut it nice and round. Probably still enough pie dough for a roly poly. Now, should have a vent hole in the top. Let's do that, since it is a sea pie after all. Okay, there we go. Lay pastry on top. Put our fleur de lis back in the middle. And back to the oven. Okay, this is still mighty hot. Hey, Glenn. Hey, Jules. Hey, friends. Look at your fleur de lis. <laughs> that looks great. <laughs> so, um, Canadian pie from what? an Australian cookbook. Canadian pie. Oh, it's a, it's a Canadian pie from an Australian book. Oh, my, I'm a little tongue-tied cookbook. Yep. Canadian pie from an Australian cookbook. And I kind of figured that it's, that it's broken telephone based on Cispat, Cipat, Cipai, which becomes sea pie, which is English. But it's... But how does that become Canadian pie? Well, because I, I have to, I have to believe that Someone in Australia had a Canadian cousin that came for a visit and made something. And then it kind of gets, you know? Yeah. And then you know what? Then you just make it, you just call it whatever you want to call it, right? Yes. Like I am sure that cinnamon cake with the chocolate chips has a name. It's just anti Lean's not, cake. Not, not anti Lean's it's, cake? I doubt it's anti Lean's cake, but that's how I know it. And that's, well, that's how you know it now too. And so, so you know, when, you, oh, when, good, I, when I look at, this is La Cuisine Raisonne, and I've, I've got a few copies of it. You look How many at layers? Six. Oh, there you go. <laughs> sea pie. Six layers. Sea pat. Yeah. So, you know, this one starts out with a uh, turkey, chicken, or perdri pheasant. Um, you know, and you make sort of a, 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 you make some stuff out of the pheasant, and then you add pork, and you do all of the layers, and. So I don't think it matters. It's got onion. Yeah. This has got onion, beef, and bacon. It's a little hot. Oh, yeah. Mm 
Mmm. Mmm. Yeah. So there's only salt and pepper in it. I had some beef stock, so I use beef. It calls for water. I put in beef stock. Um, the sipat here in this book, uh, you there are many more herbs and spices in it. Mm -hmm. And it tells you to season it to taste. So, you know, put in what you want, but it's got parsley and all kinds of other things. I, of course, would probably throw in some carrots. Well, yeah, I mean... And, and some potatoes, yeah. and you probably throw cabbage in, like... Yeah. Um, Add more vegetables. But I gotta tell you, this is, you know... It's, mm -hmm. It smells amazing, mm -hmm. and it tastes great. Mm hmm And it's... Can be the base of so many things. Mm hmm and then you can call it whatever you want. <laughs> <laughs> whatever, whatever floats your boat, you call it that. Because in the end of the, you know, it's just stuff in a pot with some pastry on top. It's lots of versions um, of that. So I'm digging this. Uh, thanks to the shower cookery book, improved eighth edition from, uh, from Australia. Hmm. <clears throat> thanks for stopping by. See you again soon. This is really good. You can't stop eating. No.